Hello guys. Uh, today we'll be seeing how a random sequence can be generated using sequential circuits. So and this random sequence generator is a bit special because I have uh, repetitive states that is 0, 1 and from 1 it should jump to 1 and from this one it should jump to 2 and this 2 value to another 2 value. So this is a special kind of problem that we'll be seeing in today's session. So let us start with a general design uh, how to do uh, random sequence generator. First of all in the general design we will be having present state. So present state values will be taken and it will be depicted with respect to the next state values. So let us see what are the present states. If you see here you have only value 0, 1. 2 and 3 and if you think of that you only need uh, 2 flip flops to represent 4 values that is 0, 1, 2, 3 they are considered as values then you will be wrong. You have to see how many states it is taking. So one clock pulse is taking one state 0, another clock pulse taking a state 1, another clock pulse taking a state 1 again. So you will be having 1 through 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 states. So 6 states have to be realized. So how many flip flops you need to have six different states. If you have two flip flops it, it can only cover four states. So if you have three flip flops you can cover eight states and eight can be covered using uh, means our six states have to be covered that can be used using three flip flops. So let us take three flip flops at the value at my problem. So let me call the flip flop as Q are the outputs of my flip flop and this is a present state and the next state will be again q3 plus q2 plus and q1 plus so these are the present state and next state values so let us go with the values so for designing this particular problem let us start with a general problem so the state what are the states that my problem can take 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 so these are the 8 states 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so these are the 8 states that my flip flop can have so we have to design this particular problem so from 0 the next state should be one so that is very straightforward so zero it should jump to one so i can do this zero two zero zero one so first state is realized so from this one it should again go to a state which is also be called as one so from zero 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 to one the next state when if the present state is one the next state should also be one if the next state if 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 i write this as 0 0 1 imagine you have a control now from 0 0 0 0 0 1 is what the next state of a flip flop is going to be at and from the 0 0 1 it will come to the next state as 0 0 1 and for the next clock cycle again it will start from 0 0 1 and again it will be in 0 0 1 itself so this loop is somewhat uh, stuck at one loop so it will not go out of this one so it is something like infinite loop so this will be happening so to overcome that issue what I can do here is since I have to only show from 1 to 1 I can make my flip flop to go to jump from 0 0 1 to any guess so 0 0 1 2 I'll be taking as 1 0 1 you might be now thinking why 1 0 1 I'll, I'll talk about that where 1 0 1 corresponds to 5 okay now if I have from 1 it should jump to 2 now how can I jump this to 2 
so how can i do this or what is the assumption that i have taken here is i will be considering only this two states to represent my actual output so this two will be connected at the output side and this one will be hidden this one will not be uh, disclosed to the user so you can think of the two states okay q2 and q1 as only two states that is running so if you see this from 0 0 it has gone to the next state 0 1 from 0 1 it has again jumped to the 0 1 state only you feel that it is jumping to 0 1 but it is but but it is not jumping to 0 1 but in fact it is jumping to a number 5 okay that is the trick in designing such a problem and now from 1 that is from the second one it should jump to 2 that means according to my design it is phi this particular value should jump to 2 so here I'll be designing for 2 the next state should be 2 so now the flip flop present state will be 2 from 2 it should jump again to 2 another se repetitive sequence so 2 to 2 can be written as something like I'll be using 6 so 2 to 2 if, if I represent only this 2 bits it's again it is looking like 2 itself so 2 to 2 is what the next state will be so from this 2 we are jumping to 3 so according to my design 2 is not a value 2 but it is in fact 6 so here is the state where my flip flop will be actually residing at and from this state it should jump to 3 so 3 can be designed here so 3 the next state if the present state is 3 the next state should be 0 so it should come back to 0 so at 3 I'll be making my flip flop to go to 0 and at the 4 I don't have any state called 4 hence it is a don't care state and 7 is also not defined hence it is a don't care state so for this particular values now design my flip flops so basically we now know that i will be having three flip flops so let me call this as jk flip flops okay i'm considering jk flip flops and these are synchronous in nature so everything will be triggered with one single clock okay and uh, i have to use j and k to design this so this is j Or question now so to do this let us start with j3 and k3 okay if I see q3 and q3 plus I can write j3 and k3 value from the excitation table okay the general excitation table when my q3 present state jumps from 0 to 0 it is nothing but 0 x okay 0 to 1 is nothing but 1 x 0 to 1 again is nothing but 0 x 0 to 0 is nothing but 0 x 0 to 1 is not 0 x what we need is Zero to one is one x. Zero to zero is zero x. Likewise, if I keep on writing for the whole table, so for Q three, Q two, Q one, I can I can represent it like this. So let us see for one and x. If it is jumping to one to x, it is a don't care. So don't worry at all. Next one to zero. 1 to 0 corresponds to x and 1 1 to 0 corresponds to x and 1 and 1 to x corresponds to a don't care so this is a table for j3 and k3 okay 
okay now considering for j2 and k2 similarly if i write for j2 and k2 so i'll be considering now only q2 and q2 plus 0 to 0 is 0 x okay 0 to 0 is 0 x 0 to 0 is 0 x 1 to 1 is x 0 1 to 0 is x 1 then 0 to don't care is don't care 0 to 1 is 1 x 1 to 1 is don't care 0 then 1 to don't care is don't care this is for J3, J2 and K2. Similarly, if I go for J1 and K1 flip flops, I can again represent that using this particular Q1 and Q1 plus. So let's see 0 and 1. 0 and 1 corresponds to 1x. 1 and 1 corresponds to x0. Next, 0 to 0 corresponds to 0x and 1 to 0 corresponds to x1. Next, 0 to don't care is a don't care. Then 1 to 0 is x1. Then 0 to 1 is 1x. And 1 to x is don't care. So this is my excitation table. So from this excitation table, I have to plot for k maps to solve for j3, k3, j2, k2 and j1, k1. So this is very straightforward. Let us go for uh, j3 to solve. So J3 I can solve by taking Q3, Q2, Q1. So let us take this states and this is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So let us see for the values of J3, K3 or I am only interested now in J3, solving for J3 with K3. Q3, Q2, Q1. So all zeros, what is the thing? So Q3, Q2, Q1. All zeros is 0. Next state will be 1. So let us take one zero for that. So 1. And here it is 1. And here it is 0. So and last four are no, don't care. So don't care, don't care, don't care. So if I group this terms, so I can group this term and this term. Two groupings can be done. So for J3, I can write Q2, Q1, that is Q2 complement Q1 plus Q2, Q1 complement. Or in simple, it is Q2, XR, Q1, right? So, J3 is simply nothing but Q2, XR, Q1. Likewise, I can solve for K3. So, if we take for K3, let us consider KMM for K3. I will write it in short. You see this K3 this first five is I don't care. So one zero one two three four is don't care. One one so one one and again I don't care. And if you think about this, this is a very good K map because you don't have to worry anything. Don't care, don't care, one, don't care, one. Don't care, don't care, don't care. So everything sums up 
to be 1. So K3 is simply 1 and J3 is simply Q2 XOR Q1. So likewise you can solve for all the variables over here. So if we solve I think probably we will get the solution. So let's go for J2 now. So J2 for J2 similarly I'll take a K map. So how to write this is Q3, Q2, Q1. So this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 the gray code and this is 0, 1. And here again you have to see with respect to J2 and this Q3, Q2, Q1. So Q3, Q2, Q1 here whenever you are referring you are always re referring to the present state. Okay. Don't ever consider your next state for the K maps. Next state is for our reference where it should jump. But we will be considering present state and with respect to this present state we will be mapping this particular thing in the K map. Okay, please keep that in mind. Don't forget that. So now we will go to our problem pack. So for J2 you can see it is 0. Zero here, zero here, x, x, four is x, one, x, and x. So this two are zeros. So if you see to group this, this grouping is simply this whole pair. So this whole pair corresponds to be j two to be simply q three. So likewise if I solve for K2 now, so K2, let us solve for K2, so K2 is again simply another K map with the variables of K, so if you see the variables of K, what we have there, K2. So don't care, don't care, 0, 1. So that is don't care, don't care, 0 and 1. And uh, next one is don't care, don't care, 0, don't care. So don't care, don't care, 0, don't care. So if you see this, you can group here. So always grouping should be done from maximum. Can I group 8 variables? No. Can I group I eight cells? No, I can. Can I group four cells? Yes. So I can group this four cells, and this four cells corresponds to what value? So here the common term is Q one, and here there is no common term. Hence this is Q one. So that is for J two and K two. Similarly, if I solve for J one and K one, you try it out. J1, I have got Q2 complement plus Q3 and K1 is equal to Q2 plus Q3. So this is what I have got. So J1, K1 is this. J2 is... is q3 and k2 is q1 and j3 is q2 xr q3 or q1 should be q2 
xr q1 and k3 is simply 1 so keeping this values in mind we have to now design Let's take a counter and let's design this. So let me take three flip flops of the type JK. Let me call this flip flop one, flip flop two, and flip flop three. And here I have a common block. So forget about it. So they are excited on one single block pulse. So block pulse is this I have a common clock and this is Q2, this is Q3 and this is Q1 and these are the complements. Okay. Q1 complement, Q2 complement. Q3 complement. So J case I'll take another color to represent it. So this is J1. This is K1. So this J2. This is K2. And this is J3. Now, what is the value for J3 and K3? J3 is, you should be taking Q2, X or Q1. So, consider this Q1 and consider Q2. So, XOR this value and feed it to J3. Simple. Likewise, K3 is what? K3 is connected to plus VCC. Okay. So J3 flip flop is done. What is J2's value? So for J2, we have to take Q3 and K2 is Q1. Q1 is simply this. I can just tap this particular value. J2 is nothing but it is Q3. So I'll be going till Q3 and I'll be connecting this Q3. So J2 and K2 is done. Now for J1, it is Q2 complement Q3. So Q2 is available here. So let me choose another vibrant color. So complement q3 so what i do is i'll place an r gate here and this should be q2 complement q3 but q2 complement is available here q2 complement plus q3 so q3 is available at this point so i'll tap it here and i'll take it back And K1 is Q2 plus Q3. So Q2 is available here. So I can take from here or else I can place an inverter here. So whichever is convenient. So let me let me place an inverter to make my circuit look a bit simple. But better if you take from here. Okay. The other is from here. You can short it while you design so this is q2 plus q3 but q3 is already available here so short here itself and take q3 so this particular design should work as our random sequence generator 
runs from the following prescribed state so if you are very keen in analyzing this you can give the inputs and you can check it out so the analysis part will be left to you if possible let's see we can make a video on that analysis any queries any doubts please feel free to let me know comment below so if possible we will see more problems and the only hint i wanted to give in this problem is first of all whenever you are deciding to have a repetitive state check how many states it is covering so for example if i have 0 1 1 and 1 again then 2 3 4 and back to 0 so you will check this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 states so you have 7 states ok but you can use 3 flip flops q1 q2 q3 ok or 2 3 1 anyhow but is this 3 flip flops enough to cover this states so 0 0 0 is done 0 0 1 1 data is gone then from this point you can jump to 5 so to only show this particular last 2 bits or last one but ok this is also done but how to show this third consecutive one or third another one how to show this so at those times what I have to do is we have to go for a 4 bit counter where I can also take this state like say for example after this I have gone to 5 0 1 0 1 so 5 will be now pointing towards say 9 ok so if you only consider the last 2 bits it still looks the same 0 first clock it has gone to 0 to 1 from 1 it is going to uh, say 5 and 5 it is going to 9 but we are only concerned about the last two space or the last two bits so we feel like it is at 0 1 it is still at 0 1 and it is still at 0 1 itself so by this how you can design so from 9 so imagine that we are at 9 now so 9 the next state should be what so at 9 from 9 it is not actually 9 it, it should be 2 so that means should jump to 2 so from 2 to 3 so it is a straight forward again 1 0 2 2 3 and 3 to 4 so this is how you design for a repetitive sequence so check how much or how many repetitive states are there and how I can cover all this repetitive states with my state with my table so this is one more tip that I wanted to give. So thank you for uh, watching this video and all the best.